Hello, my name is Brian Rawls. I'm a senior technical marketing engineer here at Inger Micro. Today we're going to discuss transitioning from MSP to MSSP. So why would an MSP want to transition to become an MSSP? First, I think we need to define this. So Magic Quadrant's uh, definition of a managed security service provider is, it provides outsource monitoring and management of security devices and systems. Common services include managed firewall, intrusion detection, VPN, vulnerability scanning, and antiviral services. MSSPs use High Availability Security Operations Center, or SOCs, either from their own facility or from another data center to provide 24-7 services designed to reduce the number of operational security personnel and enterprise needs to hire, train, and retain to maintain an acceptable security posture. What is currently driving this industry is a huge demand for security products. There have been several new threats between 2020 and 2021, um, and these all have to be addressed. The ever-growing uh, need for security professionals in the industry is also a need for managed service security providers. And do additional MRR as part of your security practice um, as you grow this side of the business. This is a great representation provided by one of our partners, Arctic Wolf, that shows the progression of security services. As a NOC service provider or MSP, you may have been receiving managed security requests to add to your current services. This usually starts with a small ask in the basic or perimeter or endpoint defenses shown on here, and is usually the turning point and where people start to add security managed services to their go-to-market strategy. Once we introduce compliance needs in the security industry, we require the need for continuous monitoring, analysis, and correlation. This also requires additional staffing in order to monitor and manage these types of solutions. One of the biggest questions we get from our partners when we start to build out an MSSP is what vendor technology should we be adding? So the biggest concern is, is just that is how do we build our vendor stack? How do we turn this into a managed service? What do we do if we want to create some tiers in order to go to market for different types of business, different size of business, different needs of different businesses that are out there, especially in the compliance piece that we already discussed. So we started to put together, the Delta Force team, a list of items that we might want to build out for those offerings. This here represented is basics. So things like firewall configuration, your IPS, SD-WAN, DNS filtering, email, security awareness trainings, and an eight by five support. That's where the starting point is as far as a service. If you wanted to start build out tiers, now let's say we want to do the, the metal tiers. We wanted to do bronze, silver, gold. We started to develop this. So we're going to do the basics and we're going to add the bronze to this. So we're going to add different components. We're going to up the phone support from maybe 8x5 to 24-7. We're going to add multi-factor authentication instead of just password. We're going to add things like disk encryption, hard drive backups. Um, we're going to add to that program. And then when we get to the next tier, silver, we're going to add. So we have basics. We're going to put bronze. And then we're going to add additional services and vendor stack in the silver. So things like security event manager, we're going to have a SIM. We might have vulnerability management and scanning. We're definitely going to need some 24-7 monitoring with some response remediation actions. And then as we go to the gold, we're going to add the additional tiers um, on top of everything we see here where we might get into more managed EDR, mobile device security, Instant response and forensics. We want to make sure we know what happens if there isn't an incident so it doesn't happen again. Uh, we want to add CASB. We have a lot of SaaS, a lot of cloud that's out there. We want to make sure all that's being monitored and visibility. Um, dark web monitoring and threat intel um, sources, things like that, are going to be a more robust enterprise offering. And this isn't set in stone, and everybody's going to have different needs. So we kind of have to tweak this a little bit and modify this as we go along. But this is the way to identify what we might add in as we go up from like an SMB customer all the way up to enterprise going from bronze to gold. This is the model versus cost. So as we start adding additional services and additional products, we need additional staff to cover these things. And this is just a way to represent how we start, how we introduce things, how the cost goes up, 
where kind of that breaking point is where we're going to add, you know, SIM and additional staff, which can be quite expensive versus an option where we might add those into a third party we partner with for those types of uh, SIM and MDR type services. So this is from Frost and Sullivan. This is staffing costs. So just so you understand how expensive it really is uh, to do your own uh, SIM, um, your own SOC on premise. Um, it's, it's somewhere between a million and a million and a half just for the staffing alone. I'm at a base point. So they're saying anywhere between eight and 12 engineers, analysts, managers, programmers, because a lot of the SIM tools do require programmers. People don't know that usually. Um, and if you're an MSSP and you're trying to hire these staff, you're actually competing with enterprise business, competing for the same, you know, staff with the deeper pockets. So it can be very hard to get this, uh, to, to gain all these, this talent and retain them. So options for that third-party managed services are, are something to augment what you might currently be doing so you don't have to do this all on-premise and build this out your, yourself. Um, they do have SIM as a service, as an option. So you can actually have a partnering vendor um, that will do managed SIM for you to do all the log correlation, pull everything out of your environment. They'll do all the back end, all the eyes and the screens, and then send you alerts. You can partner with another MSSP that is more mature doing these types of services. There are MDR options. MDR will be more robust. Bring your technology, bring your core stacks, bring your cloud. They're going to have physical sensors, agents, um, API hooks that's going to pull all this information into their SIM. They're going to translate it through their rule engines. It'll hit an actual analyst and then bring that back to an alert back to, to someone within your company that will actually be able to do something and remediate with that. Manage EDR. Manage EDR is something very prevalent. Um, the only piece about Manage EDR, it is one part of the bigger picture. So they're doing Manage Endpoint. Um, the EDR definitely has deeper dive analytics that they can use to, to correlate all this information and give you actionable results. Um, just another option that's out there. These are some of the MDR and SOX as a service vendors we offer here at Ingram Micro. Uh, we have Defend Edge, uh, Scout Cybersecurity, Critical Start, Voicesight, Arctic Wolf, Binary Defense, CrowdStrike, and Bitdefender. Another piece of this that might help with uh, augmenting current staff is the need for deployment, professional services, and then the addition of financial services in case you don't want to use yourself as your own bank. Um, when we're talking deployment, we have installation, configuration, deployments, and project management, meaning that you don't have to do all this or, or take this on all yourself or say no to opportunities. So if you only work in one geographic location, um, you can take opportunities that are across the nation, which are nice. So you don't have to say no to those opportunities. As well as we, we can use this in case there's a larger opportunity you don't have staffing for where they can step in and do some of these configurations, some of these deployments on your behalf. Um, through professional services, we have the ability to do professional services for pen testing, uh, vulnerability assessments, in which we have certified ethical hackers on staff in order to do so. We also, through Inger Micro, have many financial offerings, um, some specific to vendors, that we can offer financial terms in order to get some of these projects off the ground. To summarize and, and roadmap this is, what do we have to do to become an MSSP? Is staffing going to be a concern? Have we addressed our vendor stack? What options do we want to use for our go-to-market? What service offerings can we have to augment our current offerings so we don't have to have expensive staffing needs? Um, we can help you at Ingram Micro put all these pieces together. We'll build a roadmap. We'll work on one piece at a time. We will build that maturity to make sure you're going from an MSP to that security provider that you want to be. Thank you for listening. Uh, once again, I'm Brian Rawls, a senior technical marketing engineer here. I have added all of the links throughout. The security line card is a great tool for identifying your, your vendor stacks. We have the playbooks for professional services, and I did add the financial solutions book as well. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.